Hey guys, John Forge Gaming here, and today we're going back to my game because I just recently updated it. I'm proud of this new update because I finally figured out how to um, add a save and load system that wasn't just you click this button, it saves it as this file name. You can't change the file name, and you push this up button, and it searches for this file, and if it's not found in this certain directory, then you're screwed. Because now, you can um, do a couple things, which I will show you. Uh, I'm just going to open it up really quick. And so here we go. The menu's still roughly the same, which, you know, don't mind that. However, there is also a game mode selector, so you can actually start from wherever you want to go. Um, easy starts at the very first level, medium is after the first boss, hard is after the second boss, and then hardcore here is after the third boss. And you also have this pop-up, and it does work, so I'm just going to hit no, and oh, it still does that even if you hit no. I need to hit like a menu, I need to have like a menu button. I also did change the exit button. It is now escape instead of E, which is nice. So we're going to start at easy. So um, I also, um, the reason why an update hasn't been out recently for it is because I actually messed up um, the movement specifically left and right, so instead, um, or not left and right, I, well, yeah, I, me I messed up all the movement, and I couldn't find the original code needed to fix it, and so it took me a while to find it, and that is what took the update so long, and so that is, uh, that's why it hasn't updated in a while, is because, like I said, can't find the original code, you're kind of out of luck for that. And so, yeah, that's, that's what happened. And so, I just kind of found it. I guess I can see this. And so anyway, I'm going to show you guys the uh, save and load system as soon as I get to the um, easter egg, which should be shortly, I think. I'm also eventually going to add it in so that when you are holding right click to heal, where you know you can't just fall off the screen like that, so you'll actually be able to follow everything as long as you're in the screen. Or as long as, you know, well, I don't know where I was going to that train of thought. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to eventually, so pretty much gameplay hasn't changed at all, it's still the same bosses. Um, I think that the final boss is now showing, I'm not sure, the final boss, uh, last time I checked, still had a, this light glitch where you couldn't see him, and so he would, you know, you would see the, the, the knives being thrown at you, but you wouldn't see where they were coming from, and so they would demolish you, and you would just be like, where did it all go? And so, only issue I, I've actually had is that. So. Also, I will be um, shortly. Er, no, I already uh, took out some extra lives because, well, if you find the Easter eggs, you end up with almost two bars. What might as well be two bars of. Um, lives as seen up here. So I will also, I found that there is a file where you can change the uh, cursor, and so I'm going to have it change to like a little um, sword, and so 
so it won't, hopefully it won't be confusing, I'll have it like to where the point is, where you're clicking and not like the hilt or anything, to where it's confusing. So yeah, I'm just making, you know, a couple of updates at a time, and so, okay, so here's the boss, I went too far. Now we're going to save, which I do believe is K now. No, I didn't switch that. Okay. Do I? I'm using the wrong Pixel Man jumper, aren't I? No. Okay. So there we go. Uh, you can't do it in boss rooms. That's right. So it, it'll say save as type save game. You'll only be able to select that. Um, there is a reason. Now, I know it says save as type save game, but it will actually be a .dat file, and um, it'll be whatever file you put in, so I'm just going to put in my uh, YouTube name, and we'll save it to the desktop, right? Save it. There we go. And I'll hit L to load. It'll go to the last save place. It'll still be select game, save game, but you know, it's still. So yeah, see, it, even though it says save game, it's a .dat file. Okay. And before I actually load, I'm going to go on to the next level. So I'm just going to spam the click here. Not hitting anything. Okay. So we're in the next room. And we're going to go all the way up right here next to this. Okay? Now I'm gonna hit L, go to the already named file. And it does have properties if you want to look at that. And it's, you know, all of these security. Details, type DAT file, attributes AC, you know, it's all, it's all, you know, just don't change any of the properties or it could result in a crash game, and that would be kind of bad, but now if I hit open, it takes you all the way back and it has all of the same, it, it saves every single statistic in the game. So, if you have bought anything with the game, which I will be adding, hopefully, well, not bought, but, like, downloaded, because I will eventually add in, like, a store thing, you'll be able to work with it, but, um, you know, that's all eventual. But, um, it'll save all of those, uh, all of those. I will hopefully actually try to make some DLC that will only be like five cents because all it's really going to be doing is adding more levels and they're, uh, it's going to be like making her it's going to be um, adding stuff that's a little harder to code so that save game creating the save the save and load system actually wasn't as hard as I thought it would be and if you actually go and look online at um, how much this the, uh, cost is for some of the custom save games that you know are you're allowed to buy here I'm just gonna go and do that really quick I like to add a But, um, okay. 
Okay, so here we go. We have Chrome up, and we have Yo-Yo Games here, and we go to the Marketplace. And um, a lot of stuff in the Marketplace does cost stuff. I'm hoping that after I get Game Maker Pro, which should be sometime during the summer, specifically this summer, um, I will actually upload the code for the save uh, for the save game because you know it doesn't need to be encrypted or anything if it's just uh, like a really quick save of something, right? And uh, anyway, so here, here's one. Here's a save game. It's a staff. It's, it's a staff favorite, and we'll we'll go take a look at that, right? We'll see what all it has. It's a save game custom system with encryption, which depending on how big your game is, you might want that encryption. And so yeah. Alright, so it shows you what all is going on. Right, and then if you try opening it in, um, what is this, Notepad, Notepad Plus, which is a very, very useful thing, as I use it myself for my unturned server stuff, and I actually use it to read, um, things like dot .json, .json dot .dat, you know, I, I read... I use it to read files that you can make in Notepad, but you can't read generally in Windows because it says it can't read it. So this is pretty much it saying that it's unreadable, right? And so, as you can see, if you try to change it, it becomes corrupted. And so... It does all this. And so yeah. So it's just adding a extra encryption system. But I tried oh, get off me. Thank you for making me have to edit my video. It takes an hour just for any regular video to even load up in in the ex in the thing, so now it's gonna take me forever to edit everything you just did. Out. And so, like, I just don't see why I would want the the encryption, and I just don't know. So we're gonna go back marketplace, right? And we're gonna actually search save game, right? And now only that one goes up, but if we go to just save, loading, there's a ton of different assets that, that comes comes up, right? Save game. Account creator, so save game. Uh, simple save. Saving and loading. Multiple files. That's one that I just now noticed today. That hasn't been there before. Save file system. Save and load. See, that one is generally a dollar and nine cents. So I want to take a look at what this one has to offer. And see, this only saves and loads high scores. That's all this one even does. So, th there's all sorts of stuff here. But none of it is a free save and load system, except for possibly this one. That actually lets you just save. And load it. And I just... I find it I 
find it hard to believe that out of everyone, you know, creating all of these stuff, all of these things, right? And, you know, some of this stuff is really easy. For example, I'll, I'll open up my game really quick and show you just how easy the coding was to create just the save part. And I, I find it frustrating that people are like, gee, this code is so simple. And, you know, even though it's confusing for, let's say, someone that's new for how to make this, we'll put this up on the marketplace for a dollar and say, here you go, you got a save system and I'll make it so that it's, you also have an encryption system. And, and you know, we'll have it like this and the new player, the new people to Game Maker will have to buy this if they want a save game that works in this way and also has an encryption. Funny thing for those people, there's this little thing called the internet and also slow down and reread and this will help you and so pixel man jumper the the main file system here we go here it is so here here we go i'll go to objects and controllers because i need to go here right okay execute a piece of code that is how you save that is literally how you save Actually, speaking of which, I could save this to DAT, so you know what it's going to save as. Right? There you go. That's my entire line of code to open up something that creates this right here. That's all the code that I need to, to put in to make one file that if you try loading it again, it will load everything where it was, every variable, every string, everything. And that's with one DAT file, or data file. We'll go to my load, all right? Pretty much the same exact length, same exact thing. to load one file that will load the entire game as it was when it was saved. No slots. Save it where you want. You, you could save it in an encrypted folder where you could save all of your games. You could, you could share those games over the internet. And the amazing thing I see is that no one thinks that it's simple to create those. Because me personally, I thought that it was it was really hard to make a save game as it was, right? And so it took me a while, but I finally got it. When I did get it, it was it was really easy. 